All right, it's been quite a while since I've done this. So hopefully it's not going to be too much of a mess. But I have two bags of Clash Gold Crumbs pay dirt. Paint it out, dry it up, weigh it up, see what we got. Got bag 22359 and 358. I guess first things first. Let's get them in the pan. Now, I assume you know about Clash Pay Dirt by now. Maybe you don't. Uh, these are like $15 bags, something like that. Um, they do have. All of his bags do have a gold minimum guarantee. He has different levels of bags. Um, fantastic beginner bags. All kinds of great stuff in them. But let's see what we got here. As you can see, there are some uh, semi-precious stones in there. There's some copper ore. Let's put it in the pan and see what we got. Now, normally with a bag this size, I'd just do them both at the same time, but you know, it's been a while. Let's uh, take it slow. I always like to rip my bags open entirely. Make sure there's nothing caught in the corners. Because you can get gold stuck in there and lose some. I'm no expert or anything, so I'm not going to be able to tell you necessarily what these are. But that's obviously maybe quartz, maybe something else, not sure. But obviously semi-precious stone. <clears throat> that's got quite the crystal structure to it. It's kind of cool. Looks like uh, amethyst, I think. Maybe not. It looks purple to the eye, not so much on the camera. Maybe it's just smoky quartz. Kind of poke around a little bit in here. This is one of my favorites here. That is copper ore. Very cool stuff. That'll definitely go into my collection. And poking around a little bit, I see, I see some gold. Looks like another piece of copper ore. Look at the different colors. It's amazing how it's iridescent. That could be something. Not sure. But I don't see anything else major that pops out. Without a doubt though, I do see some gold. Do you see it? Looks like a nice flake right there. Let's go ahead and pan this one out. Fairly easy to do, shouldn't take long. I do have um, jet dry in my water. Help make sure that uh, no gold floats away. Believe it or not, the water tension of the uh, water can actually pick up gold at times. And because it's been a while since I've done this, I will most certainly go through my tailings and make sure I didn't miss anything. Hmm. 
That's interesting. Not sure what that is. Some of it's very, very clear. Some of it's very white. Hmm. If you've never done panning before, it's a pretty simple idea. Heavy stuff will go to the bottom. Then you want to rinse the heavy, the light stuff up off the top. So what you do is you get water in your pan and you shake it. Get your gold to settle down to the bottom so you can rinse off the light stuff on top that you don't want. These I do believe are also the smallest bags that Clash Gold carries. So don't think that if you're going to spend money on a bag, you're going to be getting something this small. These are kind of specialty bags. And he does have all sorts of different bags. You can actually even customize your bags. You can pick like how large a bag you want, how much gold you want in it. You name it. It's uh, pretty cool. Um, there have been new developments in the gold panning community. Uh, it is possible that if you are not in the United States, that they cannot send gold to you, or at least not pay dirt. Um, they may be able to pick out the semi-precious stones and the gold from a bag and send that to you, but apparently countries have decided that mailing dirt is uh, no longer allowed. So, kind of um, a bummer. But is where there's a will, there's a way. They can still get gold to you. You can always mix up your own bag of pay dirt and pan it out if you really want to. As you can see, starting to get into black sands there. We're at the heavy stuff now. Should start seeing some gold. In fact, I see, yeah, you can see it. Nice looking flake there. See if we can rinse this stuff back a little bit. Give it a tap so the gold uh, settles to the front of the pan. It looks like I'm about to lose a little piece of gold there. Definitely still got some cleanup to do. As I said, I'm out of practice. It has been a while since I've done this. But, without a doubt, we got a nice little pile of gold there. Another quick shake. And it does look like there's a little tiny piece right there still.
seeing anymore get this uh, cleaned up we'll crack the next bag open all right let's get into bag number two Like some crystals on the top there. Let's uh, poke around a little bit, see what we got. Not sure what that is, but fairly large uh, yellow crystal. A uh, smoky quartz or amethyst. It does look purple to my eye. Not very purple, but it is purple. Wow. I don't know what that is. Diamond, maybe? <laughs> Honestly, it looks like a piece of glass. It's so see-through. Interesting. Yeah, that could also be amethyst. If I can get that around in my finger. Come on. I think you can kind of see the purple there. And it's quite possible I'm missing stuff. I mean, as I said, I'm no expert. I definitely see some gold right there. about all I'm seeing as far as uh, stones of interest to me. <clears throat> so, let's keep on moving. Got some floaters in that one. That's kind of interesting. Now, if you've been watching the channel for a while, this is obviously not the first time I've panned gold. Um, I've even tried buying some gold pay dirt from Amazon, which I definitely would not recommend doing. Um, unless, of course, 
you recognize the brand. Uh, but even at that point, they are most likely being forced to charge you extra to be able to provide you the convenience of buying from Amazon. So generally speaking, you're better off just going to their website. But um, there is a lot of what I would call scam pay dirts on Amazon. Uh, and I've even blown my own money a couple of times to try them and essentially prove it. Um, and you may certainly get gold if you do buy from random people off of Amazon, but you're not going to get the quality for the money, I should say. Um, at least generally speaking. I would uh, advise against buying pay dirt off of Amazon. Um, I would imagine you can probably buy pay dirt on eBay and stuff. Um, it's not something I've tried, so I really can't give any input on that. But, uh, stick to reputable, reputable dealers. Uh, and, you know, it's really not something you should see as an investment so much as something fun to do. You know, you're most likely not going to ever get your money back in the gold unless you sit on it for years and the value goes up. So it's something to do for fun. I think I just lost a little flake of gold there. Good thing I'll be going through my tailings. I would not say that these gold crumb bags are my favorite. Um, I think Clash has better bags. But they are, as far as I know, the cheapest. So this is what I was able to do this time. Um, There's a lot of fun bags. Some of them are a bit more expensive, but well worth the money, I would say. This seems like we've got quite a bit more um, black sands in that one, but again, pretty decent uh, little pile of gold there. I've never been great at getting my pan entirely clean. I tend to do most of the cleanup in a pan, like a frying pan, once it's all dried up. So we'll, ooh, that was not good. We'll call it good there and get this in a snuffer bottle. Love the sound of gold in a pan. Sounds awesome. One little stinker there that doesn't want to go along. I'm sure that's a piece of gold too. So again, I'm, I'm out of practice, so I will uh, most certainly be going back through my tailings. Probably off video. Because it would make for a very long video. Alright. I think we're in good shape there. I will get this gold into a pan and get it dried up, get out the scale, and we'll see what we got. All right, scale is on, it has been teared. Here is our gold.
0.3 grams. I am going to rinse the pan down and make sure I didn't miss anything. It was uh, rather sticky. Didn't want to come out of the pan. But uh, considering what I paid for this, I'd say 0.3 grams is pretty darn good. There are some nice sized flakes in there. You can certainly hear them moving around inside it. And then of course we did also get some more semi-precious stones to add to the jar. All in all, I'm pretty happy.